Hello, and welcome to this video about how to use the Campus Wide Honors Collegium's Canvas space. My name is Mary Gillis. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm an honors advisor. I will be guiding you through this video. All CHC students will need to use Canvas to complete certain Campus Wide Honors requirements and access important campus-wide honors or CHC resources. This video will ensure that you know how to do so. Feel free to take notes and refer back to the video at any time for a refresher. So what is Canvas? Canvas is an online tool that you will use throughout your time at UCI. You should be able to access it using this QR code or this link. The way that you use Canvas at UCI for classes is different than the way that you will use Canvas for the CHC. And this video will not address how to use Canvas for your, C for your UCI classes. For more information about how to use Canvas for your classes and how to set up a Canvas account and your preferences, please review the information on this link the Learn Anywhere website, which you should also be able to access using this second QR code. So what is the purpose of CHC Canvas? Well, as a CHC student, you'll be expected to use CHC Canvas for two main reasons. The first is to complete CHC requirements by given deadlines, and the second is to access CHC resources whenever you need them. So bottom line, if we've posted it to CHC Canvas, we're expecting you to read it and to use it as your primary source of information. So regarding this first reason, some material on Canvas will be required. In that case, you'll find a related quiz assignment and or form that you must successfully complete by a given deadline in order to get credit for completing the assignment. Some examples of requirements that go through Canvas are listed here. And this is our advising model. We are actually counting on you to review the information posted on Canvas for yourself ahead of time. So that when we're actually together, whether that's at a workshop, in a webinar, or at a one-on-one -on -one advising meeting, we can actually focus on what's the most important thing, you and your individual questions and concerns versus reading a website of information to you that you can read for yourself. So in this way, Canvas is really a cornerstone of the advising support that's provided by CHC, and we offer that advising support through our online chat, in-person drop-ins, one-on-one appointments, workshops, and so on. Now regarding this second reason, please think of Canvas, the CHC Canvas, as a one-stop shop or a portal of information that you can access at any time to find the answers to your questions. We understand that you get a lot of information from UCI, from your school and major, from the CHC even, and we know that it can feel overwhelming at times. Please know that CHC Canvas is here to help you navigate all of that in your own time and in the way that makes the most sense to you. CHC Canvas collects and organizes all relevant links together at your fingertips. And so Canvas supplements and prepares you for advising conversations that you'll have with CHC Advising, as well as with your school and major honors advisors. So now let's look together at a sample CHC Canvas space. When you log on to Canvas using the link or the QR code in the previous slide, you should get access to your dashboard 
and you can access the campus-wide honors canvas from your dashboard. And when you do that, you'll be directed to this home screen. On the home screen, you can find a brief overview of Canvas, as well as some important contact information. There's also information sorted into quick links by different topics or by different groups of students. And we're going to take some time looking at this now. Now, this is actually an example Canvas, depending on your level and the time of year when you're using Canvas, it may be very different. We actually share advising information at the best time possible throughout your entire time at UCI in order to answer all of your CHC related questions at the right time, also to help you enroll and do well in your CHC classes once you're taking them and to participate in the CHC community once you're ready to level up your experience. And so we also level up Canvas throughout the year, meaning that over the summer, Canvas has a small amount of resources as it focuses on what is timely and relevant. Then once Canvas is built out again in September to get ready for the start of the school year, and then again, it levels up before any required advising meetings. So check back often. This example canvas is actually the final version from the end of the school year. And here's what the first version looks like. Very short and to the point. Okay, so now let's dive into one of these quick links. We're going to, as an example, look at incoming first year advising info. Please note that this information will look very similar for incoming transfer students as well as new students admitted by application. So if you click on this link, it will take you to a landing page specific to this topic. So again, here's our incoming first year student summer advising information. All incoming CHC students will begin here with video one. And if you click on the carrot, it gives you an idea of what's covered in video one. And then you'll progress from video one to quiz one. And you'll need to complete both video one and quiz one to unlock video two about CHC requirements and quiz two and so on and so forth, completing both the video and the quiz to get to video three and quiz three. And you'll need to complete all three of these example requirements in order to complete summer advising. Finally, at the bottom, there are some honors advising resources that have been posted to Canvas. And these resources on this particular page will be a jumping off point for your first year in the CHC because they'll be talked about throughout the summer advising videos and you'll be able to refer to them throughout the summer. So you'll definitely want to make sure that you familiarize yourself with these resources, know what they are and can refer back to them when enrolling in classes, talking to your school or major advisor, or just curious about something, getting ready to do something that maybe is new for you at UCI. All right, let's go back to our home page and review some other resources. I'm going to go back to the example home page. So something else that is is useful and is a resource that you will just use in general is these on is this honors advising resource quick link so if we select that then we get this page and as we can see here there's an overview of the resources on that page as well as collections of links grouped into certain categories so these are going to be really great as you're starting your time at chc and really throughout your time just to kind of check back and check in with yourself um, about being successful in honors, about using honors resources and our community values, and really making the most of your time here. Now, as we can see from this example page, 
CHC Canvas really is a collection of links. If you're someone like me that's more of a, a reader, wants to kind of have someone help them make meaning of what all of these resources are, then you're going to want to be looking at the CHC Student Handbook, which does launch from this advising page, as well as I think from the home page as well. And so when you look at the CHC Student Handbook, um, I would suggest actually using the um, headings and the table of contents, which should appear here on the left side of the screen under the lines. And so as you can see here, you can potentially flip to, you know, various things that you might be curious about, the requirements to complete the CHC, things like that. Um, and of course, you can also use the control F function, but something that I think is really nice, particularly when it comes to, for example, talking about research is there's some really nice pros here to really kind of get thinking about what this could mean for you. So not just a, link, a list of links. All right, back to the Canvas homepage. Something else that is accessible through CH Canvas at all times is how to get in touch with an honors advisor, right? So that can be any member of the CHC advising team, whether it's a campus wet honors advisor, a peer academic advisor, PAA, or a school advisor, as well as even when to contact them and why. So let's actually click that because I feel like that's really important. It's up here and it's down here as well. So once the, the summer is over, you'll get a very complete list of how and why to talk to folks. So um, they are grouped by various categories, but we're just going to kind of scan the general information here on the left because for general questions that can be answered quickly about CHC requirements, enrollment issues, or honors courses, etc., most people are going to want to come for a drop in. And these are available both remote and in person. During the academic school year, you can find our general hours here. We are remote in the morning through CHC chat or Zoom, and then we're in person in the afternoons on the fifth floor of the science library. Now that said, please note that summer hours are different. And if there are any additional updates, office closures, things like that, we will post an announcement. So you'll also want to check on the announcements to see if there's any updated information there. Now, if you have more in-depth questions that involve a more thorough review of your personal record or an appointment, um, or if you're assigned to schedule an appointment in order to complete an advising requirement, you're going to want to scroll down here and learn about email as well as how to schedule an appointment. Appointments can be either remote or in person. You can choose who you meet with, which of the advising team. And you also want to first review the video for information about how to schedule an appointment. Generally, appointments are weekdays only, generally between the hours of 8 and five. So we aren't available in evenings or weekends for appointments. Okay, so let's wrap this up. This has been a nice overview. So just kind of clicking back to um, our original canvas, our sample canvas, please again review the additional information here that is posted throughout the year. And certainly new and incoming students are on their version, going to especially want to pay attention to the how-to videos, um, including how to use campus groups, obviously how to use Canvas, and there are some other great how-to videos that will be shared here as well. Finally, we would encourage you also to take a look at the community resources, um, the community values, which will be added later to the advising page. And once you've set, settled into the CHC, definitely taking a look at the course planning information during your first quarter. And that's it for our brief overview of CHC Canvas. We hope that you visit this website early and often and use it to answer and supplement any advising questions that you might have. 
Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you soon.